Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode five of this giveaway build that we are doing for you guys. It is proudly brought to you by Gum Out. They're the entire reason it is completely free for you to enter and win. This is your chopped 39 Chevy pick em up truck. This video gets a little bit crazy because we have a lot to do and we are running out of time very fast. So chaos is the name of the game, but I'm gonna do my best to take you from scene to scene. In this video, we make a custom fuel cell. We cut some carbon for the bed of the truck. Headlights and grill arrive. We wrap up a good majority of the floor and for the first time, we put a bench seat inside the truck that later Manny is going to upholster and bolster to basically make two connected bucket seats. As previously stated, chaos will ensue. You will be entertained, so buckle up because we're getting busy. Okay, let me kind of fill you in on what's going on because there's a couple things going on all at once. We got the grill mounted in place. I like this. Where I'm super undecided on is the headlights. I like the headlights themselves. I want them that low because when they're up high, the whole thing looked like a dragonfly. Uh, the great Max Basur, he got all of the sheets of aluminum cut. I'm gonna have him weld that because it's gonna be on display. His welding is several years above mine and so that will look nice manny this morning took this so this is the the s10 bench seat out of the s10 mini cooper he stripped it down it fits almost perfectly side to side i'll get you a shot of that in a sec the only thing that we had to do so this mount here just is barely past the edge of the floor and so we lopped that off it's welded on the underside and then we're just going to flip these so they sit like that, and then they will be inside the floor. We had to cut the center support out. Manny is pretty certain we're gonna have to cut this section out just to clearance the tunnel. These mounts sit flat, and these are obviously not. So I think if we just cut this in a little bit, and then we should be able to bend this flat. And then he ordered red Lamborghini. I'm not even kidding. OEM Lamborghini Alcantara, which I think is fancy suede for the inside of this. So he's gonna build up the sides of that bench. Each individual seat is gonna have bolsters. Each side's gonna feel like a bucket seat, but it's gonna be a bench, which is gonna be pretty cool. I have red, red seats, black carpet. Uh, I don't know what color we're gonna do the headliner yet. And then we'll probably, the rest of this, we'll either paint to match the outside or I'll dip these, do something cool like that. So I'm getting the bottom of this to fit. So then that way we can pick where it's going to go. And then underneath the mounting point, I'm gonna get some thick plate and weld that below the floor. So that way the bolt going through it is not just being bolted to this thin sheet metal. It's gonna have something really, really strong to grab hold of. Dang! Put, look at the, the angle. Yeah. It's, I only did that because you were here. <laughs> there was a gap and I was just gonna fill it. I'm even gonna TIG it so that I don't have to grind the weld down there you go. so that it's not above the metal. Yeah. Run, I don't know, do you think that's strong enough if I just did that or should I do that? I don't know if you need that much. Maybe just a little bit to there just to give it a little bit more strength. I mean, like meaning not. This yeah, piece of metal, doesn't just doesn't something that else. Big, okay. Whoa, today's kicking my butt. Really haven't done much visually, which is one of the things that kind of sucks <laughs> about trying to make videos about some of this stuff, because it's like, yeah, you just spent an hour and what? But let me show you what we got, because it is important progress. This is probably a little bit overkill, but you know how I am. I'd rather it be overkill than under. Got these bars added, so these are going to be stronger than they possibly need to be. Rear mount's going to be about here. Front mount's going to be about here. So what we need to do next is get rid of these sharpie marks that we made previously because we're going to move the seat just a little bit. I think when we were measuring forward and backwards, it was a little off. So we're going to redo that real quick and then we'll be back on our way. You guys want to hear something that maybe one day I'll laugh at, but right now I really want to kick myself in the... Well, when we uh, put this in place and decided where we liked it, 
we did not take into account that there's a freaking backrest and it has a small recline to it. So that's all the way back on this stop here. So that's as far back as we can go. Now, as you could see, that hole was right here, which means the front plate is gonna work, thankfully, for the rear mount. But that means this rear mount that I put in has no purpose now, and we have to do another one up here. <laughs> what a stupid mistake. We're just gonna move on and get this off, pretend it didn't happen, and just, we'll skip lunch again tomorrow, and we'll get here earlier tomorrow to account for yeah so yay less sleep for me meanwhile in professional land max is tacking up the sides of the fuel cell now this is something that it looks obviously really simple we're just making a box basically but what i would do is just butt the sides to the sides and tack it. What Max is doing is he's putting the edge of each piece to the edge of the other piece so that there's a valley for the weld to fill in. Instead of just button flat to flat, he's taking the time to put those corners together so that the weld is better. That's something I probably never would have done even if I knew I was supposed to do it just because it's so much more difficult to line everything up, especially if I was just doing it by myself. Oh no, it is a widow. Is it? Yeah, it's got red on its belly. It's just got a deflated buttocks. You're right. That thing. Yeah. Just squish it. Just, just squish it right there. Just death. <laughs> Dead. Now burn the glove. Death. <laughs> That's perfect. There's like quarter inch yeah. on the back. Yep. You did measure. Mm -hmm. You know what we can do too? Huh? Is put a threaded insert, weldable, on here and build a mount off here so it just bolts. That'd probably off. be easier. Yeah, off and then the off the back side. Yep. That way you don't have to climb underneath to unbolt it. I mean, yeah. you never gonna unbolt it. I also think it'd be easier as far as like us trying to figure out where on the bottom we need to weld. Yeah. That looks really good. Well bad. You welded something. I welded three inches. You welded the other ninety five. That's three inches new. You Megan married you for a reason. Probably fifteen, twenty. Nah. Yeah. If that's twenty to you. <laughs> <laughs> that looks that looks really good. Yeah. Almost makes me wish we just went the full width. Full width. Yeah, because it's just super clean. It is super clean, but I mean, do they know that you're doing carbon? Yeah. The carbon around the outside is gonna look good. It's gonna look sick, yeah. No, that looks really nice. That really kind of makes the chaos look a little more yeah. complete. I am glad we decided to go closer to here. Yeah. Then holding it back. Yep. Yeah, because it hides those tabs a little more which yep. weren't very pretty i mean once it gets painted and everything it'll look great but yes because didn't the bottom because we're still going to baffle it waiting on stuff um we still have to make the sump if we're going with an inline pump or if we're going to do a drop-in pump is that obviously. the term for the the drop down the sump? sump yeah oh that's good to know yeah i've been calling it a lot of other things <laughs> <laughs> and then we're thinking fill here and then the level sensor and the breather in that corner. Yeah, Is that kind of. I think once we decide on everything else, it'll. And then maybe a big garage idiots can come out. That would be cool. Most, on, most cars, the fill is on the driver's side, unless you're BMW, Audi, Volkswagen, yeah. then it's on the. Non American. Side. I have three BMWs and I forget every freaking time. Put an arrow on the gas gauge. To oh, what really? side the fill's on. I didn't even... I didn't know that. Now you do. <laughs> yes. Do you remember where I welded on here? 
you did this one because remember you're like oh it's not as thick as yours oh okay yeah so and then you did this side that corner uh or is it that side no because this side looks really good so that one's you sure i'm pretty darn because we went because the welds this way the welds go this way so i think you started there oh so yeah because then there's that little that cold spot yep okay so that part does look good. I fooled yeah, myself. I told you. Okay. Um, the more and more I stare at these wheels and tires, the more and more I'm thinking I might just rock them because they do look good. And the more I stare at it, the more it just kind of seems to be a part of the truck. And I don't know if I want to change that. Headlight placement, I am still undecided on. So I did order a different set of headlights and we're going to see which one I like better, basically. These, no matter how I look at it, it just keeps reminding, for some reason, I ordered those because on the bug, I absolutely love them. But on there, for some reason, yeah, they're the same thing. On there, for some reason, I can't not see an insect. I guess it's kind of fitting on the bug because it's a bug. But on here, I don't want it to be a bug. I want it to be aggressive. So I ordered a similar LED set. They're black housing, but it just has two LEDs instead of all of those and it looks a little bit more aggressive so whichever one looks better on here we'll put on here the other ones we'll slap on one of those vehicles and we'll go from there i like the grill i like the grill placement I like everything about that been trying to envision what we're going to do from here to there as far as some kind of cover it's going to be a hood but it's not going to come down on the sides i really like the exposed sides and the way we're going to probably do the exhaust i want that to be open because i want you guys to see the exhaust because we're going to spend way too much time trying to make it look cool I even put the sleeves on like you guys told me and I still got burnt. No! Now it begins the really hot, sweaty, slow process of welding all the sheet metal together. It's also really unmotivating to know that while I'm putting in all this work, it's all going to get covered by Manny's excellent carpet, but nonetheless, it needs to be done. So we are MIG welding this. If I was TIG welding this, we would be here till World War Seven. We don't have time for that. So because we are MIG welding it, the welds have a little bit of height to them. So we're going to knock those down with the grinder. We're not going for absolute perfection, perfectly smooth, but we just want to make sure that there aren't any bumps or any uh textures from the weld that are going to poke past the carpet so once we're done welding everything we're going to run over all the seams with seam sealer we'll probably do that next video but in a minute here we're going to have a pretty good idea of what this floor is going to look like finished before it gets carpet a bit more that i wanted to do we're going to keep this loose because we're going to install the brake booster right underneath that i wanted to get that in place uh and i wanted to get that in place but we are out of gas and it is too late in the day to do this and we have other stuff to do so i'm going to grind down what we got we're going to cut the carbon in the back see how that looks and then we'll kind of see where we're at and what else we can do without this guy <laughs> There's a protective coating on here, so don't freak out, but the options were either to get this and it be flimsy and spend like $100 or spend $300 and get something that's stiff. So what we're gonna do is get uh, basically a sheet of aluminum like that, and we're gonna glue it to the back. So it'll still be light, still be you know functional as carbon, but it's gonna be not like this. Do me good, bud. You and all your electrical tape glory. Oh my god! Why would you do that? What? I'm cutting carbon, you can't make any noise. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, the timing. Okay. Oh, sure you do that, man. It's caught for the best way. It is. I googled it. We have a seven inch holly dash that we're gonna put in there. I'm really happy with how these floors are turning out. Again, we're not going for perfection. We have a lot of, we actually have quite a bit of welding and grinding left to do, but they're looking good. So we still have to do that panel in the back. We have to do this little piece on that side. And then we are going to keep that piece loose because the master brake cylinder is gonna go underneath it. So it seems a little pointless to put that in now. Back here, fuel cell, we have a little bit of work left to do on it, but it's looking good. Um, I had this in place, but we kind of, let me, it's so flimsy that it's kind of hard to put in place. It's going to look pretty cool. Obviously, imagine it higher up. Oh, I'm in cinema mode. Sorry, hang on. There, now everything could be in focus. So I think what we're going to do, uh, this was Manny's idea. That is just barely too skinny, or rather not long enough uh, for us to do that on both sides. So what Manny suggested, so we don't have to spend any more money, I'd rather allocate the budget that we have left towards other things. We're gonna cut this strip in half, which is gonna be really fun. And then we're gonna get some of that aluminum. And like we are gonna do here, glue the aluminum to the back. We'll glue the aluminum to the back of this, but then we'll either paint the aluminum black or we'll have the raw aluminum side uh, touching the fuel cell. So we'll kind of see what we're gonna do there, but that'll tie that in and it'll, it'll all match. Underneath here is gonna be the battery and then the air tank. We still have to order the whole air ride suspension setup. I'm still shopping for that. The exhaust is gonna be pretty cool. Max was over here looking at it with me. We have a couple ideas of where it may or may not exit. We don't know exactly yet because underneath the truck, we don't have a ton of room. In addition, to the truck itself, they're doing monthly giveaways and products. So this month, they're giving away what you see on the screen here, and that is happening every single month. You have the opportunity to win this cash prize or monthly giveaways. I sound like a broken record, but tell me, if you guys have ideas, if you guys see stuff on here and you're like, oh, it'd be really cool if they did that, comment that. I'm reading the comments specifically on these videos because I wanna see what you guys want. We have a train of thought and we're doing what we like, but if you guys interject and you guys have either objections or you guys have things that we haven't thought of, I'd love to know that. We have about three months left to finish this. We have about two months left to finish the Mini Cooper. So we are gonna have absolutely no choice but to get a lot of work done really fast, which is gonna be cool for you guys. We're gonna be doing the work, we're gonna be filming it. So as long as I have the time to edit it, we should have a lot of consistent videos with work on this stuff done. All right, that's all we got for you this week. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next Sunday.